hello and welcome to a special Talking Live. I'm Dr. Robbie Ludwig and we have the publisher of Metropolitan Magazine, Chase Backer, who is here to talk about his latest magazine, which is all about influencers, why he did that, what's happening, because there's a special party happening tonight. Chase, it's so nice to have you back. Hello, beautiful. Oh my How goodness. are you? Thank you for having me. Uh, you are one of the few people that we've had on the show twice. Just so you know. Oh. Yeah. And why Sorry. is that? I don't know. Because you're you. I That's love you. <laughs> oh, so sweet. I think we you're have great. a picture from the last time that you were mm -hmm. on telling us what was going on in your magazine. And you have a very exciting cover and magazine and yes. topic that really is part of just the modern conversation right now, talking mm -hmm. about influencers. What is an influencer to you? And right right there we have Metropolitan Magazine, we have Jen right. Selter. Would you have Jen Selter on, uh, on the cover of the, uh, this month, which she's a major influencer. Yeah. She has, I think, uh, over uh, 13 million followers. Incredible. So people who follow her, you know, she has that type of in influence on yeah. them. And uh, yeah. she, um, her and other celebrities, as well as, you know, people like you and I, have some influence over some some of our followers. So if we have a product to, to talk about or yes. display, um, you know, uh, it makes it more credible. So it's so interesting, and, and thank you because Metropolitan Magazine included me on the top influencers of New York yes, City, of as well as some of my friends like Rob Shooter and mm -hmm. Dr. Kelly was on there. A right, lot Dr. of Kelly, very right. interesting people. Um, Influencers is kind of a modern theme based out mm. of celebrity endorsements. So it used mm. to be that celebrities were one of the major people or they were chosen to endorse a product because they had so many followers mm. and people who really followed their recommendations or emulated them and wanted to be like them. And now with the invent of social media, we really saw the birth of a whole new grouping of people who influence others. Right. What kind of influence do they have in terms of marketing and your magazine? Well, a lot of these influencers will go out and actually test the product and use it, whether uh, it's um, plastic surgery, mm -hmm. surgery uh, Botox, injectables, uh, or uh, handbags, or makeup for women or uh, gentlemen who drive in a car and or it could be restaurants which mm -hmm. I do sometimes with the Kelly uh, Powers, Dr. Kelly Powers. Um, so we actually go out there and we test the product and uh, we let people know, you know, mm -hmm. not necessarily that this is the product to buy but we give the people some information on it and that's, that kind of makes us more credible and makes the influencers more credible. Uh, you don't really have to be a celebrity to be an influencer if you like to display or showcase a, a certain not product. Not anymore, and I think that's really good no, to know. Not In anymore. some cases, they are more desired than celebrities because celebrities are very, very expensive. Not yes. that influencers aren't. You were telling me when we were preparing for this show how much influencers can get paid. Well, yeah, influencers, celebrity influencers uh, like Tyra Banks will, will receive hundreds of thousands of dollars for just one tweet. It's incredible. Uh, Kylie Jenner is um, one of the top influencers, and she gets a million dollars per tweet, which... I mean, and it's I mean, really easy to do. <laughs> it's just something that you and I do every day, or she, yes. she does every second, so every tweet that she does is worth X amount, so that, that amount. Um, you've got uh, the Kardashians, which they're up there. Uh, you have um, we have the Kardashians, of... Zac Efron, right? Zac and, Efron, uh, and then um, Rihanna. Tyra too. Banks, Rihanna. You know, all these top in, uh, you know celebrities will tweet, and they're worth hundreds of thousands. Uh, you know, uh, Justin Bieber, uh, six hundred thousand for one tweet. I mean, that's uh, it's it's incredible. So, A lot now, of the but you don't have lives too. A lot of the housewives, yes, of course. Forty thousand dollars because mm -hmm. people are looking for what they do. And it's, right. again, um, you know, these influencers, they have power because they have a certain style or people are following them and they want to know right. what shoes they're wearing. I'm more of like an industry 
person. So that's mm. when reporters, writers, um, and again, it kind of grew out of a spokesperson job for me. So for right. me, very much like you were saying, if I believe in a product and I'm passionate about it, mm -hmm. I love working with companies so I can share the information, both research and just yeah. doing Instagram photos about it. And when people see you doing that, you'll have uh, certain people, certain corporations that will yeah. come and, and hire you to uh, to look at their product and yes. maybe uh, in, endorse it or, you know, um, the thing, the reason why we we put together this event for, that's coming up is we have uh, a special party, and you are the first publisher to highlight influencers, write about it in your magazine, and throw a party celebrating those yes. influencers yes, we that are. you highlighted in New York City, mm -hmm. and everybody is very excited about coming. I know I am. Yeah, we're very excited. I mean, we have. We have a lot of people coming, I know. and uh, you know what? This is this the reason why we put this together because we wanted to let people know that influencers are out there and they're they're available, and there are companies out there that would actually you could call up and they will find influencers for you if you have a, a product, and in your demographics mm. and help you, uh, you know, uh, give get exposure to whatever product or company you have. So they're out there. You don't need to do a commercial on TV if you don't have that kind of money, or if you do, you just hire some of the big uh, stars, and you don't have to get all the, the, the lights, the camera, the action. All uh, you know. I mean, I can go into a BMW dealership or a Chevy dealership and, and just uh, you know show how wonderful the, the luxury the, the vehicle is and what, what comes with it. And the people who follow me, if if it could be ten people, it could be thousands of people. If they see that I like this car and I'm showcasing certain uh, features. Th that that's worth something. That's worth something to the company, and that's that's what I do on the side. I I mean I I just love the idea that social media has expanded. How different bloggers, right, can be influencers. And, and I remember back in the day, it was a lot of mommy bloggers that were very very powerful mm -hmm. because they were testing out different products, and people yes. wanted to hear from real people. That like started many years ago, right? exactly, many years and, ago. And then it grew from there, and there's something... I think, I think it, yes, I think it grew from there silently, and that's why Metropolitan Magazine is bringing it out now. We're letting people know that this, the influencers are out there, right. and we want to praise them. We want to make sure, the reason why we put this together, we want the influencers to talk about Metropolitan Magazine, yes. and then come to our event, and then therefore we will get part of their uh, uh, followers mm -hmm. and then it will make us grow as well. So it, gi it gives back. It's wonderful for everyone in the, in the industry. What I love about the concept too, Chase, is this idea of sharing. So it's a very different mm -hmm. way of looking at the marketplace. Instead of having this idea of you against me, it was the YouTube channel stars that actually figured that out early mm, on yes. because they realized, well, if I have 100,000 followers and I invite Chase on, who also has 200,000 followers, then I will That's benefit correct. from their followers mm -hmm. as well. And it's a win-win situation. And so anything that has this sharing psychology Mm. Uh, to benefit people in the business world, I fully support because you really provide also a networking option for people to meet one another. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we put this together. We want all the influencers to contact us and we'll do some more events coming yes. up. And all the influencers, we will help, you know, give them a, a, a platform, a location, uh, you know, something that would connect all of us together and that's what influencers do and we we praise them and we want to make sure that we could be there for them and this event is all about all of them coming together and meeting each other and you know exchanging whatever thoughts or values that they can uh, help each other with i i, I think that's a, a great point and i just wonder if you have any sense about what contributed to some of these influencers being so successful well, there, I, like you said, it started from uh, a few of them appreciating a certain product and talking about it and telling people about it. And uh, they've grown to, they've realized now, they've grown to uh, accept it as, as actually a, a position, a job to, yeah. that they can offer and actually make uh, an income. 
from that. Yes. So uh, it ju and it just keeps growing. I don't think it's going to slow down. I think it's going to keep going because anyone can be an influencer in in any town. You know, you can have a small town and have yeah. a person, and those are his demographics. So people will listen to that person, and then you can have be a huge influencer in New York City, like yourself, <laughs> and have thousands of people. Chase always knows the, the big right apple. thing to say to me, but you. You mentioned what is the strength for what they call micro-influencers. And so it's not just how many people there's follow. Different, there's different stages. It's, yeah. Right. It's, you know, those followers and whether they have the ability to influence purchasing ability, right? So it's yes. like it's you could have, let's say, 10,000 followers, but if they're not following up on your recommendations or not purchasing whatever it is that you're showcasing, mm -hmm. then it doesn't really mean that much. And so right. that's where micro-influencers come in. They usually pick something they're passionate about yes. and their followers know they're passionate about right. it and, and follow in kind. Well, Absolutely. I think this is just a brilliant idea. Tell me what else is going on in the magazine, and I know that you also have a farm upstate that you're passionate about as well. Yeah, I, I mean, what I do is basically, I just like to give back. And, yeah. you know, it, I'm very fortunate, and, you know, I think everyone out there should um, seek their their passion, you yes. know? And I, that's what I do. And I, you know what? It's fortunate enough that that I think some people you know, struggle to do it. Some people can do it easily. Uh, I've always, uh, it was always been easy for me to just start something and get it done because I don't quit, you know, mm -hmm. I just keep going. So uh, I've had many business in my life I've, uh, that, that I've succeeded with. And the reason why I'm, I'm doing this influencer thing because I think it's huge, it's beautiful, and yeah. it's now. And I think a lot of these people who are doing, do, who started the influencer, uh, influencing others, uh, just went for it and, yeah. and did it and you know anyone could just be anything or do anything so I'm always you know tackling things and taking new on uh, new positions and, and helping people um, I, I, di I did I started I purchased a farm last year and uh, and I uh, started doing farming mm. uh, I just do it's just like I said do, I, did, I did a little test I put mm -hmm. some seeds in the ground and uh, everything grew, and uh, local shops were able to, you know, uh, reap from what I when I grew, and they love it, and they said, "Bring me more." So That's this year, great. I I expanded, and it's not so much that I want to make money and I want to be a farmer. I just love the idea of of growing things, you know. I mean, to watch each seed just just come up, and mm -hmm. we've had uh, corn, and we grew tons of corn, and it's, you know, uh, eight feet tall, you know, sunflowers, fifteen feet tall, and everything just came pumpkins everything just I came up it. and we were able to sell it locally and if you want to be a farmer you just go out there and be a farmer you know i i'm a gentleman farmer i have people you know helping me but i also get in the field that's and touch what these stuff influencers say they say if you want to do it yes. just do it just and, and do when it. i was when i was uh, figuring out how to get into television somebody in the field said you know, fine practice, fine study, but do, and that's the best way to learn. Fortunately for us, you have the Midas touch with everything that you I do. I think everyone has the Midas <laughs> touch. There's a lot of people will say, I don't know if I can do it. And when you say that, you kind of like, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, so I think it's uh, great that you are highlighting people who created their own path. That's what you do. That's certainly what they're, I try to do. They're all over the place. Influences everyone. It could be yeah. anyone here in this in yeah. this room, anyone outside. They all influence others with their product. And people ask you, well, you know, what do you think about this product? You know, and that's basically what it is. You know, or your opinion about anything. Well, we are very excited about Metropolitan Magazine, the future, what's going on. We will have a link so people can find you and find the magazine and where to get it. And we are very much looking forward to this party tonight. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're an influencer and you'd like to get in touch with us, uh, metmag, M-E-T-M-A-G, uh, uh, ny.com. You could just send us uh, an email. Uh, or so you could send me chase at uh, 25amag.com. And uh, we'll definitely, uh, you know, and look Chase out for it. And will take care of you. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us on this special Talking Live. Chase, always a pleasure to have you. Mwah. I look forward to seeing you Thank this you. evening. See, and see we tonight. will see you in two weeks. We're taking next week off for Talking Live. We'll see you in two weeks with a fact.